Hi, welcome back to AP Computer Science. Uh, this is going to be the free response question for the 2016 exam. This is question number two. We're going to go ahead and get started with this message log question. You can read the question online and follow along here. So the first part is to implement this constructor here uh, for this log message. Now uh, everything in the before the colon is going to be the machine ID, everything after is the description. So we're going to go ahead and make a temporary array. We're going to set that equal to message.split and that's going to partition the array anywhere it sees this colon here. And there's only going to be one colon, that's what the description says, or that's what the instructions say rather. So that means we can go ahead and um, use the split method and that will work just fine. And the first element is going to be the machine ID and the second element is going to be the description and that should be it for part one. So simple three line question. So the next part is going to be this contain, uh, contains word and that's going to look for a particular keyword uh, in a rather specific format. So the format for contain uh, is going to be like this. So if we have the word disk, we want either the single word disk uh, with the matching case uh, or a space right before it or a space right after it. Um, but notice how it can't be concatenated with another uh, character and it can't be preceded by a non-white space character. So that should be it. Uh, we could use some sort of fancy regular expression, but I believe that's beyond the scope of uh, an entry level exam. So we're going to go ahead and start by doing um, a little bit of uh, conditional statements and then just sort of build it up from there. So first what I do is I find the starting index uh, within the description and I'm going to check if start is greater than or equal to zero. That means the string is somewhere in there, but if it's not, we want to return false. So that means it's not in there. Okay. So if start is greater than or equal to zero, uh, we're going to do the we're going to handle the case if start is zero first. If that's the case, we want to make sure that the uh, character after it is. Um, uh, either a white space or an empty string. So to do that, we're going to check if um, the description. So remember, it could be just the keyword itself, right? So we want to check if this description dot length is equal to the keyword dot length. That would be uh, if the only word in the description uh, is the actual keyword. Then we're going to simply return true, because we know it's a match. Uh, otherwise we're going to have to make it a little bit more tricky. We're going to have to check that the character at the um, length of the keyword is going to be equal to the um, white space character. So we're going to return, this is going to be a Boolean expression here. We're going to return if the empty space is equal to that character. So it will be description dot keyword. Oh dot car at that's going to be give us the character and that's we're going to find it at keyword dot length and that should be it for if they if it begins um, with the beginning if the keywords found at the beginning uh, next we should check if it's at the end or rather we should check if it's um, somewhere not at the beginning rather. Let's go ahead and do it that case. So we're going to check if um, the character preceding it. So we're going to check description chart. Can't spell description. If the character at start minus one is equal to an empty space. Then we're going to continue. Then we're going to check if, because we know uh, that we're not at the beginning, so there will be a character before it. We just need to make sure it's the empty, empty uh, character, empty space character rather. Um, next, we need to check if uh, this string is at the end, and if it is, then we want to uh, simply return true because then it's a match. Otherwise, we're going to want to check to see if that ending character is also um, no, um, just the empty, just the space. Okay. So to do this, we're going to do if uh, description 
dot char at and we're going to do start plus keyword dot length that should get us let's see that should get us right there and we want to check if that is um, well first we want to make sure that there's that much string available right so we're going to first check if the length of the string is do something like that rather and make sure that it's bigger than that and if it is then we're going to return description dot char at start plus keyword dot length and we're going to compare that to what? we're going to compare that to white space character Otherwise, we're at the end, and that means we can return true. So that's a rather convoluted question, but there's a reason why I give you that much time for it. Uh, let's see, I finished this in six minutes, so it's definitely doable. We can go ahead and test it out, and it looks like it returns true because brown's in there. Now if I throw in something like this, it's false. And if I throw in something like this, still false, still false, okay. Now what if I have something like this, still false, still false, now it should be true, and now it should be true. Still true. Okay, so it looks like it's working. Uh, definitely a tricky question. A uh, real pain to go through all those different cases. But it seems to be um, a good question to ask because the previous question was pretty easy. We got through the whole thing in around six minutes as well. Uh, this question probably could have been answered using a regular expression, so if you know what that is, then that'd be great to use. Otherwise, um, not so much. Let's see, what else could there be? So yeah, that looks like it's the question. Uh, if you have any more questions, please be sure to ask. Maybe if I put a slash here, let's just see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of any more test cases, so it looks like it's working fine. But if there's any corrections, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.